Hey, good day everybody, it's James, VA3JPX from Ottawa, Ontario, Canada. And today I decided to make a YouTube video to show you how to program your Baofeng or Baofeng UV5R um, dual band HT. Those are the uh, affordable HTs you can buy from China. Uh, they do VHF, UHF, um, you know, they have 128 memories or 127 memories in it. And uh, they're pretty good bang for the buck. Um, with mine, I bought the programming cable with it, so that came with the software. Um, and I thought I'd make the video because I was kind of having trouble when I first started programming mine uh, with the software. Things just kind of weren't lining up, and I, I got a little frustrated. So I figured I'll make this video, and hopefully it'll ease some of the frustrations of... Uh, other Baofeng users around the world. So when you launch the software, um, you'll notice it'll launch in Chinese. That's the default language, um, even though it's English and Chinese on the, uh, the name here. But anyway, first thing you want to do is click right up here, select English. Now you'll be working in English. Before you start programming the radio, what you want to do is plug in the programming cable. Um, now, when you do this, make sure that the radio is turned off. That's a real big one right there, okay? Um, if the radio is turned on when you plug the cable in, um, it'll automatically transmit on the frequency that the radio is programmed to. Um, it'll transmit for two to four seconds. And, uh, you know, you kind of don't want that. So. so once your cable's plugged in, Turn your radio on, uh, make sure it's also plugged into the computer. And the first thing you do is always make sure that the software can communicate with the radio. So you click the communications menu up on top. In my case, uh, my prolific uh, programming cable uh, driver is set to COM10. Uh, yours might be COM4. Um, I know it was like, it was COM4 when I took it out of the box and plugged it in the first time. But I had made some changes, and I have other prolific uh, USB to serial cables, so those other COM ports are in use. So I just switched it to 10. Make sure that the device manager in Windows um, has that COM port assigned to the prolific driver. Uh, so whatever the prolific driver is using, make sure you just use the same port in the programming software. So in this case, it's COM10 in the device manager. And so I'm going to set it to COM10 in the Baofeng programming software. Hit confirm. And now you'll notice at the bottom, it'll say connect well with radio. So that means the software can communicate with the radio. So let's just do a very basic program. We're going to choose here channel 1. I'm going to choose VHF UHF, which is the only selection. Uh, my RX frequency. I'm going to choose, uh, let's just do uh, 146.52, VHS, VHF simplex channel, or frequency. Now, after you type in the value here, you want to click outside of the box that you're currently working in. So anywhere outside. And now you'll find that it, it populates um, all the fields here. Um, this is your CT, CSS, or DCS uh, decode. Uh, and encode. So if you want to set uh, the 60.5, let's just say, I know those are substandard um, uh, encode and decode uh, tones, but that's what this radio will do. And, and they'll do all the other ones too. You know, if you want to do just, you know, like 100 for an example, you can do that. And now you'll have your encode and decode. Now, if you just only want to do decode, then you can take your encode and select it to off. Uh, your TX power, uh, wide or narrow uh, bandwidth, and uh, this is your scan. So if you don't want this channel to be included when you're when you're scanning your channels, uh, you just switch it to off. And here's your channel name. So I'm going to call this one Simp for Simplex. Actually, we're going to call it Simp One. Actually, no. Let's call it Simp V for VHF. And then over here for channel two. I'm going to do 446.0, which is UHF simplex. And I'm not going to do any tones on this one. 
Uh, I don't want to scan it either. And we'll call this one Simp U. There we go. That's pretty much it. That's how you program it. Now to send it to the radio, you're going to go to your program uh, menu up at the top and select Write to Radio. This window will pop up here. Click Write. And now it's writing just the channel information. Okay, I'm going to show you the other areas of, of the radio that you can program uh, independently without reprogramming your channels. Okay, so let's close this out. I want to go back to program and I'm going to choose read from radio. Okay, watch what happens. We know that the writing of the channel information was su successful, but watch what happens when I read. It read from the radio, but it says fail connect with transceiver. Don't worry about this. It wrote and it read the channel information. It's okay. You're, you'll find that it will do this if it's your first time reading from the radio. The next time you read from the radio, it'll be fine. Now, there's some other areas that you can program. Um, what we'll do is we'll click on the other menu up at the top and this is like the power on um, information what your transmit uh, frequency or I guess not maybe your transmit but your overall uh, frequency range per band um, you know can be uh, you can set that here um, I'm gonna read from the radio and my radio says on power up hello VA3 JPX and this here is uh, what my range is, um, but I don't allow it to transmit above 480 megahertz. That's up to you. If you want to experiment with that, by all means, go ahead. If you want to change this and say, hello, you, then you can write that to the radio. Let's read it. There we go. Hello, you. Pretty cool. Very simple. Very easy. Now, here's another area I want to show you. Let's say, for an example, I want to edit the options feature or features. The first thing you want to do when you set any of these is you want to read from the radio first. So with this options or optional features window, um, when we click program, read, or write to radio, it's going to read or write whatever is in the foreground here, So which is this window. So if you have the channel listing in the back and you have this in the foreground, uh, when you read and you write, it's only going to program the radio or read from the radio of the current uh, window that you have. So, you know, a timeout timer and... Uh, you know, automatic offsets, you know, po positive, negative, and, and whatnot. So we're going to go program, read from radio. Now, you realize it says fail to connect with transceivers because it's our first time reading that from the radio. Okay. Let's say we want to make a change. I want to make my timeout timer 90 seconds. All I do is go back to program right to radio there you go it's done now you might be saying well you know what I want to save all this all these changes I've just made well all you gotta do is go file save we'll call it demo dot confirm there you go so if you go to um, sorry if you go to uh, get this right James now Channel information, it'll load up the information that we've already programmed. Um, if we go to optional features, it'll load up what we've already programmed. And that's what's saved in that DAT file. So let's say a week down the road, you want to come back, you want to make some changes, you, you want to uh, say, you know what, I want to add another simplex frequency. Or no, you know what, I want to add a repeater, 147 point, 
150. Uh, and uh, transmit is going to be 147.750. Um, I want 100 hertz for the tone. Oops. Try this again. 100 hertz for the tone. I'm going to call this one VE3 MPC. There we go. I, what I can do is go here, File, Save. There we go, it's saved. Now I want to go Program, Write to Radio. And there it goes. And you'll notice this time, we're not getting any errors communicating with the radio because we've already read from the radio. I guess it's a bug in the software. Who knows? It's the way it is. And that's basically it. That's how you program your Beofeng radios. Now, I'm doing this for the UV5R. You can use it on the 5RE. You can. It's the same type of programming um, characteristics for the UV... Uh, what is it? The 3R, I think it is. Um, so th this video can apply to multiple um, radio types from, from Beofeng. So if you have any questions, comments, feel free to leave them in the questions, comments section below. Um, if you like the video, give it the old thumbs up. Um, I'll try my best to respond to the questions if you have any. I have been having some difficulty with Google+, Plus since it's been amalgamated with YouTube, uh, and, and leaving comments and, and posting comments and stuff is a little bit tricky right now, but I'll try my best to respond as soon as I can. And uh, I hope you enjoyed the video and enjoy your new Beofeng dual band radio. Take care in 7-3.